with the Today's Woman Show, the September issue where we are bringing the women on the print pages to life in the issue around beauty. Uh, right now I have with me Amanda DeWeese. Um, you are with Norton's Healthcare and you are a nurse practitioner with the mobile primary care unit. Um, so, so much to talk about. I mean, from one, being a woman in the profession, serving women in this profession, um, and just all the work that women are doing around collaborating with healthcare, um, there's a lot that you see on a day to day. That is right. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> um, but the important thing is there is a woman behind that coat, right? Yes. And so, I, gosh, I, you know, with COVID and everything that has happened, you see a lot, you know, from the cradle to the grave. Um, what are some of the things that you've seen as far as how women have been impacted at a very young age, at older ages? Um, what are some things that you've seen that have really touched you personally? Um, one thing that really stands out to me is access, like just the lack of access throughout the community. Um, a lot of women, families in general, they don't know where to go. They don't know how to find health care to try and stay healthy for themselves or their families. And um, working on the mobile unit, I'm able to hopefully try and help eliminate some of that issues within the community. Uh, but that was a big issue that, you know, not just me, but Norton Healthcare in general has really found that the access to healthcare has been kind of limited within the community. Wow, what a bold move, right? Yeah. Talk about seeing a problem and actually doing something to solve it. So Norton's recognized through its own studies mm -hmm. that access was an issue and said, well, we're gonna go to the women. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's really, really impressive. Um, and so are you the only mobile unit? Are there other mobile units? What's the future look like with that initiative? Um, currently, I'm the only mobile primary care unit that goes out into the community. We also have a women's health mobile um, unit that goes out that provides um, mammograms and um, cervical cancer screenings for women over 40. So we bring the mobiles to the community. Got it. How do women find where the mobile units will be? How do you reach them when you are in their backyard? That's a great question because that's, that's a big question out there. Um, you can search on Norton Healthcare. You can Google, you know, go to Norton Healthcare, type in Norton Mobile Primary Care. It'll list specific locations of where we're at. We try and go to the same locations each week. So every Wednesday we're in one location. Um, for the women's health truck, we try, um, we're throughout the community. So it'll give you a number to call and we'll tell you which area of town we're in that day. I absolutely love that. I love that. Um, so for those of you watching, make sure you go to NortonHealthCare.com um, and find out where the mobile units will be. Um, and I want to make sure that my team begins to list those and to publish those because I think you're right. I think access is so, so very important. Um, so let's talk about the woman behind the coat, yeah. right? And so you're out here helping others stay healthy. But once upon a time, this was a dream for you. Right. Um, who inspired you to decide to want to get into healthcare? So I would love to say that from a very early age, I even knew what a nurse practitioner was. That was not the case, but I knew it was instilled in me that I wanted to help people. Um, the women in my life, I have strong women in my life. Uh, my grandmother, my mother, they really always took care. They were always a caregiver in some way, not necessarily in the healthcare setting, but they're always a caregiver. So I knew I wanted to do that. Um, it wasn't until my grandmother gave, became sick uh, when I was about in high school that I, I was introduced to the healthcare setting and knew that I wanted to do nursing and then eventually become a provider to help prevent people from becoming sick in the, in the best way that I could. And so I went I mean, uh, so it was so it was your grandma. It was my right? grandmother. Play, yes. Played a big role. Um, before we wrap up, there is one thing that I think is very important, right? Because at the end of the day, you're still human, yeah. and you've got your other sisters that are out there in healthcare, um, and sometimes making sure that they are taking care of themselves is just as important as caring for the patients. Any advice that you you'd share with other women that are also in healthcare? Um, I I think staying active and healthy, like eating healthy, putting the right food and nutrition into your bodies is phenomenal. Um, getting exercise, try, go on walks, go to the parks, get together. It's not only good for your physical health, it's good for your mental health mm -hmm. to kind of get together with your sisters and just your peers and, and talk about the troubles that you may be having. But also 
getting your screenings. That's going to be the most important thing. You know, there's so many things out there that can, if caught early is going to be prevented. Um, and that's you all, huge. You all heard it. <laughs> get together with your girls, take some walks, get some screenings, watch what you're putting in your mouths. We want to see you make it for a very long time. Uh, when we come back, we're going to dive more into beauty and womanhood. <laughs>